so at this point we want to compress the brake caliper piston but the problem is this electronic parking brake is, is still obstructing the full retraction of this piston. So we need to back the pressure plate of this parking brake back all the way up so that we can fully compress this piston. The two screws holding this on are T30 Torx screws and there is a little bit of interference with this mating surface on the electronic parking brake housing. For example, uh, I was originally trying to remove it with this T30 socket and due to the placement of this mating surface, it couldn't get seated nicely in this screw. I could probably still get it out with this with a socket wrench, uh, but I really didn't want to strip that out. So luckily I had these Torx screwdrivers. Unfortunately, I can't get this off with just the screwdriver. So I'll have to get creative. There's one on top, one on the bottom here. So with these out, you can pull this strap off, and there you go. So we'll want to carefully twist the electronic parking brake, and this will just free it up, and we can start to pull it off, rocking it back and forth, twist it a little bit. It should pop out. And there is a gasket around here. Make sure that stays there and this is all it is. It's got a spline here, spline here. This spins and it spins a pressure plate back and forth in here. Uh, when you engage the parking brake, it pushes up against the back side of the caliper piston, clamping the rear brakes. Uh, when you disengage it, I don't know how far back it goes, but it disengages with the caliper piston, but it doesn't retract all the way back into the housing, which is what we're gonna have to do right now. To retract this pressure plate, we'll want to use a Torx bit. This is a T45. I've seen other people use a T47. Put that in here and rotate this clockwise until it stops rotating. Alright, so at this point the pressure plate's fully retracted. We can actually just reinstall the housing. There's no need to push that pressure plate back up once you install the brakes. When we're done, we'll engage the electronic parking brake from inside the vehicle. That will push this pressure plate back up against the piston uh, and it basically will self-locate. Let's get that done. I have some documents that I found online linked in the description below, so check those out. The front brakes, the rear brakes, and the parking brake torque specifications. So take a look at those. Uh, I'm not gonna go through what I'm using in this video. You can uh, take a look for yourself. All right, with that complete, we can go ahead and compress the caliper piston. Slowly compress this, allowing the fluid to run back up the lines. Okay. 
And once you feel resistance, you've got it all the way in. So pull that out and now we're fully compressed.